श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम Welcome to this workshop of cultivating leadership qualities. I am very happy to see all young people over here. Many a time, among I am among the oldies. You know the difference between the old and the young. Old people have only the past, no future. And youngsters like you, you have got all the future in your life. Therefore. Your interaction to the life is different than the interaction of the old people. This way, the old people are interacting in a frustrating manner and having mainly complaints about life. The youngsters like you, they have got inquiry. Something to look forward, and therefore, I am very happy to be among you. While I was coming, I was talking to Sima. I said, "It is in Gujarat alone. This can happen." I moved out the world, all the states in India also. Never ever in any place in the world you come across this kind of quality and culture where youngsters are ready to learn and they are ready to grow both materially and spiritually. Therefore, I have got a special love for Gujarat as a home. This can happen only in Gujarat. You know the white man of India, Dr. Kurian. He is no more, but he got some great award for the Kurian Award. Why he got it for? For white revolution. And that white revolution was started in Gujarat, not by him. I don't know one of the Patels. Gujarat is nothing but Patels. The whole USA has no more Patels. There are only Patels. The day when they go, they have got entrepreneurship. They have got the courage to take risks. See, one of my friends' daughter, she is now must be about uh, mid forties. Two children going well, and in Gujaratis, in their genes, there is one prominent gene called as entrepreneurship, gene E. So at this age of her life, she went to China, and she purchased. Do you believe what? She purchased bonsai plants worth twenty lakhs, and being sent to India by AC container. So I asked so much of it, twenty lakhs. Do you think it will be sold? How many you don't know? They are ready to pay for each bonus and as much as two lakhs. There are people. See, this region of entrepreneurship is involved. You cannot teach it. If somebody wants, like you know, the you must be doing something in music. There is one thing in music called as the rhythm, taal. That taal you cannot teach. You have to have it. You must have seen sometimes, you know, those people who sit for bhajan kirtan. Among them, there will be few of them. They give you the rhythm so perfectly wrong that you can't manage with it. You try to be wrong, you cannot. If you have a rhythm in you, so as rhythm cannot be taught. In the same manner, entrepreneurship cannot be. So the first requirement of a leadership is this: 
you have to have it in your genes. There was one man in Maharashtra. He came and asked me, somebody you know me very well, I have been going to China for my office work for last 20 years and I am working very well. So I am thinking to start some business importing from China and selling it in India. I said, if you ask me and if you listen to me, then there is one. Otherwise there is no point. He said, no, you tell me something. I said, you don't do this. You will not be able to do it. You require a different kind of approach. Your mind is not meant for that. So the first quality of an ideal leader is, hey boys and girls, you sit in such a manner that I can see every one of you. Both sides. It is sadly to say, hey, but not the beach. So I can see every one of you. This girl you go this way. I come this way. I should be able to see everybody, you know. Yes. Little more. Ah, good. I must see sweet faces. Otherwise, I am not talking to all. Okay. So, the first leadership quality is you all have it and therefore we are talking. Therefore, I come. Now this workshop will be dealing in different stages. So there are four topics we want to be. First one is that uh, we'll be talking on four topics: restoring inner strength, relations and uh, relations, support or dependence, life with a difference, and cultivating leadership. These are the four basic talks I come to you. And in this program, we will have now and then few glimpses of meditation and then we will have group work together and then you will be presenting your results. This is how the structure is. We start with discovering inner strength. On the basis of this discovery, we will understand the meaning of meditation, how it will help in discovering the inner strength and thereafter how we will interact with this knowledge among each other and then what we have concluded collectively that will be the format we will be working on. The first one is calling in a strength. There are two aspects in our personality. One is strength that we have to discover and second is the power which is invested in us. What is the difference between that Strength and the power. Strength we all have. Power we are invested in. For example, you get a position of, let us say, you know, the chief minister. So when you gain the position of a chief minister, then you have some power associated with that post. Is it not? So that power you have got. Not your own, it is borrowed because people have voted for you and you became the chief minister and therefore the power of the chief minister is borrowed from the citizens of the state, is it not? Therefore it is very powerful. Now what is the strength? Strength is discovered from inside, not in reality. If we have power, like in any position, we have some power. But if that power is not supported by wisdom, then what will happen? The same power will become a liability rather than an asset. Now take an example. This thing happens in USA every now and then. We also must have read our heart. Suddenly one child takes a gun or one person takes a gun to go to the school and shoots half a dozen of them, the teacher, etc. and shoots himself and dies. Routine happening in US. So that gun or the pistol is a power in his hand. But he doesn't have the wisdom to use it. So when the power is not supported by the wisdom, the same power becomes a liability and not an asset, is it not? Get this point across here. 
Therefore, what is the inner strength? Inner strength is wisdom. And the external support is power. And both things are essential. If you do not have the power, you can do nothing in life. And if you do not have wisdom to use the power, then the same power will corrupt us. Therefore, we have to discover the inner strength. In today's talk, we will try to understand the discovery of inner strength. When we use the word discover, what exactly it means? It is something like this, you know. This remote control, I keep it on my lap and a paper is here. And I am searching, here it has gone, here it has gone, I don't know. I don't know, these people, they come and unnecessarily mess with my devil. I think somebody must have taken it. And I become angry and frustrated. And in the anger, I lift this paper. The moment I lift the paper, have I created the remote control? It is this hour. It was already there. But it was unknown to us because it was covered by something. In the same manner, we all have to discover the inner strength. None of us bad wisdom. Only thing, we are not able to scratch it and bring it out. We must have seen uh, in, the, in the Friday they give you know, those things, scratch cards, or on the, the petrol pump there were scratch cards. They will give you a scratch and you see what is there. So, with great interest, you go and take the uh, key of the car and then you will see and the message comes and you are as usual, you are unfortunate. Oh God! You scratch yourself and you will discover you have all the wisdom. We don't have this. So, what is this? Wisdom is that which allows you to retain your balance in spite of all situations in life. A person who lacks wisdom, he can get disturbed over small issues. Now let us understand the importance of balance. When we are able to maintain our balance, mental balance, equanimity, what happens is, we are able to assess the situation better than when we are disturbed over small issues. You must have experienced this thing during your examination period when you are already frustrated and you are tired and you have to study and there is a time, uh, you know, within that you have to work and that time some guests come in your house. And then the mother tells Vita, it is go and get ice cream. Need to scream on her. I don't want to go. Don't want to understand the study. Because I am already frustrated with my studies. And you people enjoy ice cream. See? Therefore, wisdom can be manifested only if the equipoise is maintained. If we have to cultivate the inner strength. Discover the inner strength. What is the inner strength therefore? Inner strength is equal to equanimity of our mind under our conditions. Inner strength is not physical. Inner strength is intelligence. There was one Bengali uh, and there was one Punjabi. Punjabi is a language. Bengali is the other one. So, this um, Bengali was coming from Calcutta to Delhi, or maybe from going from Delhi to Calcutta. And he had a lot of luggage, and he had to get into the train. And he was so thin, and there was a huge luggage. And this Bengali was thinking how to be thin, I can't get into the room. I am so weak, weak, and all that. So the Punjabi. Atta, get the right. He just lifted his back just like you know, power. 
get it. And showing off his fingers. Everybody was angry. And the prince started. Again, the prince started. You know, he has to put the luggage up there. How do you get this? Again, the luggage went back. Took the luggage, went back, and hold on. And again, with the physical arrows, they were in the And the same country, after some time, Hadir became part of it. And he went to that hero, he was just in chain, to pull. He put his hand and acted as if he is pulling. He could not do it. Again, when the hatter, he put his hand in his mouth. The guard came. Who put the chain? <laughs> not me. The physical strength is different. And inner voice is different. A wise man knows how to interact in a human situation. The other wise man doesn't know how to interact in a human situation. So inner strength is equanimity and to maintain that equanimity, what is rhythm? Only one simple technical can try to work on it. See, this thing comes from Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita contains all the wisdom that we need to use. Then they said, when we interact in the world, what are the possibilities? Either we will be, we will win or we are defeated. For example, match of a cricket match or badminton or anything. <coughs> Either you will win or you are defeated. So when you win, you gain. And when you are defeated, you do second pair. The first pair was victory defeat. Second pair was gain loss. The third pair. If you gain, you are happy. If you lose, you are miserable. So these are the three pairs when we interact with the world. Either we win or we lose. Either we gain or we lose. Either we are happy or we get happiness or miseries. Now here the crux of the situation is if we maintain our humanity, that sometimes we win, sometimes we are defeated. This is what the life is. This is not can somebody say that I should win every time? It is not possible. See? You know that Hindi cinema song, Thode Gam Hai, Thode Kutia, E Jeeva Hai. This is what life is. Sometimes we win, sometimes we are defeated. And both of them, they upset our parents. When you win, oh, you must have seen this on the TV. When they some wicket is taken. See? Ah, in the tennis match, when they hit the shot. And when they do the break the back. This is not the way of a cultured person. So we have to recognize this basic principle of life. The important thing is not the victory or the defeat. The important thing is the equanimity of the mind when we face victory or defeat. So when we win, we lose our balance. And when we are defeated, then also we will lose our balance. Take an example. This is a very simple rule. Try to practice it. When you are extremely happy, never promise anything to anybody. 
Because in that extreme happiness, you forget what you are talking about. You know one story from Ramayana comes. When Kaiki helped Dasharatha for winning the war, he, she, he was very happy. And therefore, he asked, he told her, ask any boon I can give you, because I am happy. And he gave a promise, a boon. And she encashed that boon, because of the whole Ramayana is So when you are extremely happy, don't promise anything to anybody. You will be caught in your own happiness. Second thing, when you are angry, don't discuss things. Angry person doesn't have big value. And third thing, when you are confused, there is a say, don't take any decision. If these three things are observed, then you are discovering either strength or life equality. Therefore, when we are interacting with the world, in that process of interaction, let us be aware that when we are functioning, where is our attention? Is our attention on the results outside? Is our attention on the I who is developed with the results? Or is our attention on the mind through which we were functioning? Three options. The first option is, if we are interacting in the world and attention is all the time on the external world, we will be frustrated with the happy. If our attention is on the I, we will end up in arrogant ego. If our attention is on the equanimity of the mind, the net result is our efficiency will never fall down. Because all the activities are conducted through the mind. And if the mind is in an equanimous condition, your performance will never change. It will be better and better day by day. Therefore, to discover the inner strength, our attention must be on the mind. Now, we have all youngsters. Do you take care of your clothes? You take care of your food. I am not seeing anybody here out of figure, like me around figure. No. Because you take care of your food, calories, cholesterol. Because you know what is required, it should be a good in the body. Now, what we have done for taking care of our mind? Ask a question, please. Have we taken care of our mind? We take care of our names. You see these girls and boys. You know this is Ramdev Baba Singh. And I don't know many people I see at the airports and many public places. They are sitting like this. What is the satsang they will do? I don't know what it is, so I asked one person. I said, hey, uh, sorry, but uh, it's your personal thing. But for my general knowledge, I want to know, why do people do like this? Why do people do like this? No, Ramdeva want to do this. To do like this? He said, no, if you do like this thing, your hair does not, do not become grey. Why, thank God, why? I don't have a problem of grey. You should have hair to become grey. <laughs> How much care we take of our body, nails, hair, everything? But what care we have ever taken of our body? Inner strength is take care of your mind. If you mind your mind, you have discovered your inner strength. For that, for the next day you be, what is the meaning of taking care of our mind? Taking care of our mind means the mind is available to us whenever we want. The mind is available to us for 
for whatever length of period we want. Now, it must be your experience. Many a time, you know, we want to study, but the mind goes in the cricket match. When we are watching the cricket match, we are worried, I have not completed my assignment, I have to do that also. And when we are doing the watching the cricket match, then we are remembering about the food. In short, our mind is not available to us whenever we want. Now see, I have been talking to you for the last 25 minutes. Now out of 25 minutes, how many minutes you heard me? In between, the mind goes here, the mind goes there. Suppose I tell you some example, with that example you go away and you are not there. Mind is not available to us. And if the mind with which we are functioning in this world, if that is not available to us, who can help us? I will give you an example. Many years before, I was in Lucknow with one of my friends. And that friend uh, was a very lazy kind of friend. the days. I live when I got up in the morning, four o'clock, four thirty, and doing my work. And this fellow sleeping up to eight o'clock now, inside the place, and the barber came. Babaji, yeah, yeah. And he took out his head out of the place, and still like that. And he like this. So the barber took the white wash. And he is still sleeping on the bed. And he is working on his own place. Then he took out his razor and doing it like this. For quite some time. He gave one cut. Again he started doing like this. He gave second cut. Again he started doing like this. So I asked him. I said, hey man. How many times will you sharpen it? He looked at me. He said, you will not understand. You are growing beard. You will not understand. You can be there. Then he told me that the sharpness required for shaving is different than the sharpness required for cutting the tree. Both the places sharpness is required is it not? There was a man who got up in the morning and standing before the earth and wanted to shave. So he did the white wash and took the razor and when he started doing it flowed through and it mixed as a bleeding sun. He got so angry and started talking loudly to him. These people, they take money from us and see how bad they have done. Follow talking, talking angry to him. The wife was there by He said, don't start shouting right in the morning. If you don't have any other business, what is wrong with your brain? It is very good. He said, how do you know? He said, because I have just taken that blade out of your razor and bared the pencil of your son and I fixed it there. When the pencil can be paired, can't it be used for shaving? Now that lady who can teach that the sharp is required for Pencil pairing is different qualities than the sharpness required for shaving. Is it not? Both are sharpness. The sharpness that we have in this world is different. And the sharpness with which we can make the best of our life is different. By cheating people also we can grow. You see, every day there is one on the other scan. It is a sharpness, is it not? They know how to cheat. But one day they are caught. You know that Ariana fellow? He came last. That was a sharpness. He did it. But the real sharpness is like you take tatas. Yeah, how diligently they are working. All over the world, their empire is built. Therefore, the real quality and the sharpness of the mind is not the gross approach to like cheat and kill and grow. No. Discover your inner potentiality and then not only you grow, but then others grow around you. 
and for the quality mind, we must know what is the quality of that mind. The mind with the inner strength has three qualities. Number one, the mind is at peace under all conditions. Number two, the mind is alert. Alert is what? There is an attention on around. Although you are functioning in one area, what you call is a management language, multitasking ability. Like you know, our mothers at home, they have a multitasking. They will be cooking the food also, and uh, cooking the bagar uh, also, and hanging the phone here also, and folding the child also. Everything is going on, perfectly well. So, this ability of multitasking is but an alert place in the mind. The first, the mind is quiet, but doesn't mean sleepy, but it is alert and also vigilant. Vigilant means the quality of the mind is assessed. Are we getting in a negative mode? Are we becoming depressed? Are we becoming frustrated? Here. Once I was in UK, Staying with one doctor, and the doctor was a psychiatrist. He was retired, his wife was working. So when I stayed there for two, three days, one day he asked me, Swamiji, please advise us something on our life. And then I told him, I said, You know, you are all educated, doctor, what can I teach you? But my observation, because you ask, I am telling you, your wife is in depression. Why Swami is in depression? She is perfectly alright. I said, if you observe her, she cannot remain without purchasing something every day. You know, this constant shopping is a sign of depression. And I said, how many of you are in the house too? When she goes to the market for shopping, <laughs> she doesn't buy the things sufficient for two. For example, spinach. Now, two people, how much they can eat? She will go and buy 5 kg of pala. I said, even if you are a buffalo, you cannot eat that. And then it is lying on the table. And it is spoiled. And it is thrown away. Suppose she has to make a container of 1 kg of sugar. She will go to the market and buy 2 dozen containers. What is the need? Because one does not have enough strength, one has always doubt and finds security by collecting possessions in life. This is how when we become uh, vigilant about our mind, find out, are we becoming victim of some habit? Like some of you here, I am not seeing anyone of you. Show me your names. From there, whatever I can see, you are not eating this. You know, I received one uh, SMS, very beautiful. Pintu was having a habit of eating nails. All the time eating nails. So his mother got interested. And she sent him to Ramdeva. And after he came back from Ramdeva, now Pintu can lift his leg and eat the nail of the toe. And those people who eat their nails, they are not aware that they are eating their heart. And their only concern is, it may be one. <laughs> because we are not aging. So, these three qualities, quiet, then, alert, and third, so when our mind is taken care of in this manner, then we are invoking the inner strength. And with that inner strength alone, achievement is possible. 
this inner chaos, strength is called as Ojas. You know the one of the stories of Mahatma Gandhi. When Mahatma Gandhi went to London for the round table conference, that time Mr. Churchill was the Prime Minister of India. And he told the whole audience in that conference, when that beggar from India come, that naked beggar from India come, we don't have to receive him with honor and all that. So he was the chief, everybody said, yes sir. And then, when Mahatma Gandhi entered the hall, first person to get up and receive him was just him. And when he got up and received, naturally as the um, tradition goes, the protocol goes, everybody has to get up. And he himself told, don't get up and receive honor. What has happened? He had inner strength with Mahatma Gandhi. That is called Ojas. This Ojas is the inner strength. Such a person, by his very presence, the things around start changing. Such a person cannot become a purchasable commodity. Because inner strength is ego. And with this inner strength, when we function in the world, we never lose our own. And with this cool mind, every success is possible. If the mind is not at uh, peace, then we will always disturb, frustrated, angry. And instead of acting, we will start reacting. In the business, we have to act, not react. And this ability to act creatively is only through the wisdom that we have with us. Wisdom in the inner strength. I hope next day. This will not happen by default. We have to work on it. Again in Bhagavad Gita, the teacher says, Nasti buddhihi ayuttasya na jayuttasya bhavana na cha bhavayata shanti kshanta sivutasya bhavana. Nasti buddhihi ayuttasya. He who doesn't have equanimity, he cannot have proper understanding. In your whole life you see, misunderstanding is the main cause of discord between two individuals. Misunderstanding. Because there is a communication gap. There is a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding between husband and wife, between parents and children, among the you know, uh, members of the same family. Because their mind is not undisturbed, all the time disturbed. Therefore, <coughs> with equanimous mind alone, understanding is possible and proper. Now with this understanding when you interact with the world, your perceptions are correct and therefore interactions will not go wrong. You must have seen, you know, many people invest in the uh, market, because the share market. Some of the people, they always win, they never lose. And some of the people, they are meant to lose. There is one lady in the US, I go and stay with them. She is only a housewife, she doesn't work. Her husband is a software person, he has got his own business. Son is studying in school. So I said, Mama, old day, what do you do at home? She says, Oh, yeah, I'm busy. What do you do? She said, Before this two people go for work, I have to prepare for their food and everything. And then by 10 o'clock, I'm free. And 10 o'clock, the stock market opens. So from 10 to 5 before you will come, I am on the rack. And I am doing this investment here and there. I said, how many have lost in the last one year? How many I am not bluffing me? I have not lost one dollar. How much you want? See, I don't invest huge amount because I don't have. I invest very little. <laughs> 
here and there. But a deep and drag of every show. And in last one year, I offered 75,000 dollars. Nathi Buddhi Ayutras. He who has a whole mind, his judgment, his understanding, his mind. Therefore, inner strength is his good mind. Nathi Buddhi Ayutras. Nacha Ayutras se Bhavana. Bhavana means the ability to project in the future depending on the data available in the present. See, all the big companies, they have future projections. What should be the plan? What they should do? Before anybody comes in the market, we should do the cost. Okay. The other day, I was in a Nokia company in Finland. With my friend, he working with her. Then uh, I said, hey, you know, I am doing Nokia for many years. But lately, what has happened? And I heard yes, the company is closing. He said companies are closing, but there are many people who are removed from the job. And the reason is, I have given the reason. The reason is they are not able to match the aggressive projections in their field in comparison to Samsung. Two years before, Samsung's market share was three percent. In today's day, Samsung's market share is what is it? It is. How it could happen? Because the ability to project the future and work on that projection to be successful in life is possible only if you have a balance and a controlled mind. How important. Like this lady, I told you, getting the one side. The nobody could even think about it. And she went and made an investment. She is so confident. And I will definitely get it. Because I have seen people wanting it. This is how the ability to predict in the future and work for the success of the future plans is possible if we are at peace with our that is our inner strength. It will not happen just like that. We have to have be in peace. Okay. Now the third point. Macha Bhaveta Shanti. If we are not able to project our similar plans and stop and work on it, we will not be at peace. All the time worry we are in. About future, there are two possibilities. One possibility is plan the future with the available data of the past and the present and work on it in the present. One possibility. Second possibility is worry about the future. I don't know what will happen. Both are thoughts. But the first quality of thought is a creative one. The second one is only a vestige of the inner strength. Because when we worry, we don't produce anything. Worries do not deliver any solutions. They are sterile. They don't deliver any Therefore, the three principles. Nasty buddhi ayutasya. A person who is not at peace with himself, he cannot have proper understanding. A person who, does, who is not in peace, he cannot project the future plans and work on them properly, effectively, and to their benefit. And third, a person who is not at peace with himself, he can never, never be happy in life. Such people have got everything in their life except peace of mind. Friends. We come across so many people from the world. By God's grace, I stay in all kinds of people's houses. From multi-millionaires, crorepati to roadpati. Simple people. A, um, like a school teacher in a village. 
And after we start, then they did it. I don't know why did I tell you. Who asked you? Our habit of talking to people uncalled for is like, you know, the ulti. Ulti, you know, formation. When the ulti comes, then we can't hold it. In the same manner, bolna hi hai, and we go and talk. And here after we repeat, I will not have say this. Give it a try. Stop talking to yourself, and before you talk to others, ask a question. Is it necessary? Then you will come to know it is not at all necessary. The net result is our mind will start remaining available to ourselves. Our mind is not available to ourselves. And it is the same mind with which we are functioning. And that mind is not available to us. How can there be success? We call the instrument with which we are functioning. If the instrument is bad, you cannot bring out the performance. Okay? It is something like this. A musician brings out the music out of, let us say, one uh, sitar. In that sitar, there are wires, steel wires. Now the steel wires must be properly tuned. If they are so loose that you can hang your clothes on, you cannot bring out music out of it. Or if you are tightened in so much, the moment you touch it breaks, you can't bring out the music out of it. We require an optimum tension. Exactly the same. The mind with optimum tension is our inner strength. And when this mind is available, then we are simply take the bow and play beautiful music. Therefore, inner strength is tuning the mind 24 7 and then functioning through this tuned mind. For something higher in life, it will evoke the dormancy, it will be broken, and the truth will be surfacing. Then you know the inner strength is stored. I mean, all these things. Have you taken support of everything outside? I have not given you a Malay hand. I did not send you to a temple. I did not tell you to do Shishasana and suppose I will teach. I didn't tell you what talking to your pranayama to do. Only correct thinking. The inner strength is this. So let us cultivate and discover this inner strength. With this inner strength, your judgment will be perfect, it will be fast, your decisions will be correct, and you will be able to lead many people by your daily prayers because you are inspired. The person with inner strength is always inspired. Unless we are inspired, we cannot motivate others. So one of the leader's quality is leader must be inspired. Then only he can motivate. And an inspiration is not given to us by will or injection. It has to discover. And this inner state is a quality mind. Quietness, alertness and vigilance. It is three words and discover your inner strength and be a successful leader in your life. Om Purnamada Purnam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Pachishade Om Shanti 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 Tari Om Sri Guru Purnamada